Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and I want to apologize for our terrible performance in the last game where we fell one to nothing to Baton Rouge. And that that was a critical loss, but it didn't actually cost us as much as you might expect because of a different game. A much bigger upset when Dover beat Montpelier. This does mean we have a very, very slim chance of catching Concord now, but at least we maintained our position in second place. And we've got our old friends Lincoln, who we've beaten three times already, beating them twice in the cup when we were playing them and once earlier in the season. So. This is going to be a game where a few people are going to get rests. I don't know if Calvert and O'Keefe, who are the really tired players, are going to rest immediately, or if we want to try and get them in for the start. They're the only players with any tiredness, and St. John, their midfielder, is injured for 30 more days. And this is also the return of Pack who's quite a... he's a good player, especially with that 38 control and the rainbow feint at level 2, so he's gonna be a bit of a challenge there. Lincoln is a better team than they were the last time we faced them, but hopefully so are we. Now, putting someone in front of Pack, I think is a good idea, potentially. I don't know. We'll just hold it like that for right now. And we're gonna get into the game, so... We're hoping for a bounce-back performance here from everyone. Manchester versus Lincoln. We're at home, so we should start with the ball here. And we can hopefully get off to a good start. And Calvert is gonna do his usual thing. This didn't work last last episode. Their goalie was too strong for us. But Siegel is not. Welcome back, our offense. Calvert, taking, taking the lead. He, he was on a tear until last episode, and he starts us off on the right note here. And they're going straight to pack, which makes absolute sense. Now Pack's going to go over, and it's taken away by Doss. Good job. And that's going to do it for their position there. Edge is going to have it, and is going to do a layoff pass over to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell could go for the long shot here. And he will go for it, and score from the edge! Putting us up two to nothing, and I think that that's good enough for me. Fry is coming in for Calvert, but they're still going, still going to pack, and he's probably going to try the same thing. Well, he tries to go straight at Doss this time, and it doesn't doesn't work any better than last time. So, Roman is going to get the ball. And he's going to pass over to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell's going to hold for right now, try and keep it away from Brothers and Atwood. Keeps it away. One from Brothers, and it's Atwood's turn to try. And he's not any more successful. There we go. And that's going to end the actions for them. So O'Donnell, who has kind of been the the under-the-radar scorer on the team. Olsen gets most of the headers, Calvert's got his break-in skill, O'Donnell just hasn't had the same opportunities, but this game, he's going for the shots, and that one did not succeed there. But we have a corner off of it. And of course, that means Edge is coming up. Olsen's going to be in the middle, O'Donnell's going to be in front. They're putting in pack there. I guess I guess that makes sense. I've considered doing that before as well. 
But we're going for the cross. O'Donnell's not able to keep position. And Olsen loses position as well. So that's going to go nowhere fast. So Atwood has it. But we have one action left. So O'Donnell's going to try for the tackle and fouls him. And injures him in the process. That's not what we want to do. So Betts has it. But Schofield's the only one... Only one in front now, and Shatter easily takes that one away. So Shatter's got some options, and he's going to pass it past over to Roman, which doesn't use up an action for us, thankfully. And then we're going to do a regular pass over to O'Donnell, and then a pass to Edge. And Edge is going to go for the cross here. And Olsen from out of the box comes in and heads it in. What a goal. What an assist. That is the offense at its best. And we take a 3-0 lead. There was no stopping them on that possession. So Pack has it. Pack goes after Dickinson and manages to get past. Is he going to go for the rainbow faint? No, he's not. Scruggs knocks it away and gets control of it. So, Scruggs is going to do a long pass over to Edge. Edge is going to do a layoff pass to Olsen. And Olsen is going to go for another shot. And he scores to put us up 4 to nothing. I think... I think the team's letting out some of their frustrations out against Lincoln here because the team is playing at their best. Except Dickinson. Dickinson let Pack get to get past him. And Pack's Pack's gotta get tired after a little while. He's been really going after it here, but Scruggs. Knocks that one away, and Pack is motivated. Is he going to go for the tackle? Yes, he is, and Doss has terrible control, so that was easy to take away. And Pack's control is really good at the moment, so we're going to press and try and tackle with Doss, and that is not successful. So Shedder is going to come into the box and hopefully prevent Pack I'm going after there, but the rainbow feint gets past him, so it's just Pack on the goalie. And he goes for the shot, and Pack, our former forward, scores for Lincoln to narrow the deficit to only three goals. Now this time it's up to Fry. Try and make things happen here. And he's going to try and dribble past Shank, and that is not successful. Don't really have a great number of options there, so Roman's going to move a little closer. Get, Still trying to get that specialization up, and nice interception by Roman. He's probably not going to keep it. He does keep it. And I guess that's going to take it into half. Manchester is up 4-1. Fairly busy in there. We substituted Fry in for Calvert pretty early on. Atwood got injured on the foul. We have a pretty good game going on here. O'Donnell's actually getting a little tired. But the move we're going to make is we're going to bring in Thacker. Our amateur midfielder is coming in to try and get a little more experience in there. And Pack has really been carrying their way the entire team so far for Lincoln. And he gets past Dickinson, who's had a poor, poor performance so far. And he scores past Scruggs and Hodges. Hodges is having a bad game in goal. Hopefully that doesn't continue to cost us. Now this time, Fry is going to go out on the edge and... He can go for the shot, and he's going to go for it, and it's saved by Siegel. Graves, what's Graves going to do? He's going to pass to Eaton. Eaton 
He's going to move back and probably control. That is exactly what he does. And now it is up to Olsen to try and take it away. He's unsuccessful on that one. But he's motivated. And this time he's going to go for the aggressive tackle and gets it right in front of goal with one action left. And the shot was terrible, Olsen. Absolutely terrible. Well, it's time for Edge to try again here. Are they going to bring Pack? Oh, yeah, they did bring Pack down already. They're really trying in the back here, and O'Donnell keeps position. Olsen isn't able to, but. The pass goes to O'Donnell, and O'Donnell heads it in for the fifth goal of the match, his second goal. And we take a 5-2 lead. Now, Pack. The team might not be doing well, but Pack is. And he's going to go for the hat trick, although he is exhausted now. And that's saved by Hodges. Goes straight to Doss. Doss. Doss is going to do a lofted pass over towards Roman. It does not reach Roman at all. And Roman tries the tackle, is also unsuccessful on that. And Dickinson is going to go over and try and defend against a pass to Pack. So they're going to go to the other side, to Schofield. Scruggs is motivated, and now they're going to pack with one action left. Is Pack going to get it past Scruggs? No, he is not. And this one also goes over to Doss. So this time, we're going to get it over to Edge. And Edge is going to hold it. Because Justice and Pack are probably not going to be able to take it away from him. Thank you for proving me right, Edge. Thank you for that. So, Edge now has the opportunity to do a layoff pass to Olsen. Not Olsen, O'Donnell. O'Donnell is going to move in, and he's going to go for a hat trick. Here we go, and O'Donnell to the near post. Scores his third goal of the game, the sixth overall. We don't really have much else we can do on the substitution front. O'Donnell's getting a little tired, but that's just how it works sometimes. And Pack, Pack's gotta be so tired at this point. But he manages to keep it away from Doss. It, you gotta admire that. He's still working. He's working so hard for his team, and he completes his own hat trick there. Six to three. Quite the high-scoring game. And Thacker patches, passes over to Fry. Fry is going to move out to the corner and go for the shot. He hasn't scored a goal, but now he has. 7-3. to three. Ten combined goals in this game. This is certainly different than last game. And they've decided to give Pack a bit of a break after that. And he needed it, but Shatter blocks Schofield's attempt. And Shatter is just going to do a regular pass over to Thacker. And Thacker is going to hold this. See if he can keep it away from Betts or Schofield. Manages to keep it there. Get that plus five specialization upgrade. And now it's Schofield who's going for it. And Schofield does take it away. Now, Thacker's not great on defense, but we could try anyway. Nope. Unsuccessful. So, this time, we're going to bring Roman over. I don't want to tire out Shatter. And Roman manages to take it away to end the match. That is a Manchester victory. 7-3. to three. Look at all that action there. Calvert started us off with a nice goal, followed up by O'Donnell. Olsen put in a header, O'Donnell put in another power shot, then Pack got in on the action with two goals, O'Donnell had a header, 
O'Donnell had a power shot, so he ended up with four goals. And Fry, no, Pack got his third to get complete his hat trick. And Fry scored one to ice the game. Seven to three. What a game. And there's level up for Hodges, Doss, Roman, and Thacker. Exactly the kind of progress we're looking for, and did that mean... No, O'Keefe still got a little ways before that specialization upgrade. Same with Thacker. And Hodges as well. If Hodges had managed to save some of them, maybe maybe he would have gotten the upgrade. But, another good win. We are almost to 100 fans. We can almost actually fill out the stadium. Now let's see. Montpelier. Destroyed Baton Rouge 6-0, Concord beat Annapolis 6-1, and Albany beat Dover 3-0. All is well in the Amateur League. No big upsets like last time. And I think that, that loss ends Baton Rouge's big streak they were on before. But I can't confirm that. Anyways. That is the game, and... Concord. Concord is next. It's... It's another big game. O'Donnell might be a bit of an issue. Same with Scruggs on there. Let's take a look at Concord, see if anything's happened with them. Nope. Still the same very strong team we've faced before. And there's Bassett. Bassett, our big enemy as the sweeper. And, and the goalie is good as well, so... Again, this is gonna be a challenging game. But, I think we're up to the challenge. Hopefully. I hope you enjoyed the episode, especially the fact that we bounced back from the Baton Rouge game. Leave a like and subscribe to see more, comment, any suggestions or comments. And I hope you have a great day, and happy gaming.